Hey there, I'm Brandon Shope, and welcome to another great edition of Port City Blue Talk. It's a holiday special edition. We are here at the Walmart on Sigmund Road in Wilmington for SantaCop, an exciting event that WPD hosts every single year. It's just great to see the reaction and the smiles on their faces, but also see the reactions from the citizens when they come in and they, they're in here shopping, doing other things, and they see what we're doing. And I can remember one year I um, had a family and I probably was a lieutenant or a sergeant and citizens actually supplemented what we were already providing and that family went home with double what everybody else did because we just had citizens come up and say, hey, I want to be a part of this or I want to get involved with it. And joining us right now is Sergeant Anthony Merritt with the Wilmington Police Department here for the Santa Cop. We are so excited, sir, to be out here for this great event every single year. And, and how many years has this event been going on here uh, at the WPD? Over 30. Over 30 yeah, so years. I, I believe this is year 33, 32 or 33 for WPD. That's amazing. So tell me a little bit about, you know, your role within the Santa Cop program. Uh, myself and our social worker, Melissa Moore, kind of, we've taken over the, the responsibilities of it. We you know, we send all the referrals out to the, to the schools, to uh, the public, and uh, hope for kids to come in and, you know, with a traumatic event in their life. And, and then we, I basically organize the officer portion of it. Melissa handles the, uh, the children part of it. And we just work together as a team and try to make it a great event every year. And I know that, you know, the kids' faces, they light up. They're just bright smiles. Yeah, and, you know, yeah. you can see the hope in, in, in their eyes. It really brings the Christmas spirit it to does. them. Yeah. Uh, talk a little bit about what that means to you it's just it, it puts a smile on my face as well uh, just because my thing is this could happen anything could happen to any one of us so we like to give back to the community and and, and try to be a positive figure in in, in uh, children's lives and you know because sometimes the only time they might see us is during a traumatic event but we want to we want to change that so yeah seeing their seeing their smiles and you know they're walking out of here with bikes and helmets and any toy they want and and uh, clothes and you know it's, it's just it's very it just makes me feel feel great. Yeah. So. Well, I know one year whenever we were here, I believe it was last year, and you know, you could just see them, they were throwing stuff in the buggy. It's like, hey, I've been wanting this for the past 12 months. I've wanted this for, you know, the past two years, and they're finally getting the chance mm -hmm. to get that, and, and it means something to them. Now, I know, you know, the, the selection process for the kids who do take part in Santa mm -hmm. Cop is, uh, you know, it, it's, there's a process to that. These are kids who have experienced uh, some hard times yes. here lately. Talk to me about that. Uh, so the, the main criteria is uh, they these children have suffered some sort of traumatic event in their life, whether it be a house fire, um, you know, a, a, a family member passing away or a caregiver passing away. Uh, they've been a victim of, of some sort of crime here in the city, uh, which, you know, or any other situation that we deem a traumatic event. Um, whether it's the school social worker referring them to us, uh, you know, uh, an officer that's actually working the street or a detective might be handling the case, they, they bring these kids to us and so we were able to give back to them at the end of the year. Yeah, yeah, and, and it, you can see like we were talking about the, really just the hope begin the in the healing process mm -hmm. it, it helps with that it does, yeah. you know when they feel like people actually you know yeah, they, they care yeah. about them out there yeah because we see you know just this morning uh we saw some kids you know starting to tear up and parents Aww. tearing up and yes. you know and then you see officers tearing up so that that's what it's all about it's you know it, it it's is. making sure these kids have a christmas so yes sir um anything else you'd like to add maybe something i forgot to ask or just left out i think you're good i okay. think we got it yeah thank you sorry yeah, no we problem. appreciate it every single year I really want to thank the Wilmington Police Department's Recreation Association because they spearhead this initiative and they really work hard each year. And I know I, I mentioned him earlier and he's a humble man, but Robert High with um, Pinnacle Storage. He is a great supporter of this event, our Thanksgiving um, food drives that we do. Um, Pinnacle is just always there to support the women and men of this agency and more importantly our community and the same with our rec association. Not only do they provide for Santa Cop but the, the rec association they just do so many great things um, in our community and I just want to thank our officers that have given time because they're not here because we ordered them to be here they're here because they want to be here. And thanks again for joining us for another great edition of Port City Blue Talk. I'm Brandon Shope. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, X, Instagram, and YouTube at Wilmington PD. 
Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and have a Happy New Year from all of us here at the Wilmington Police Department. We'll see you soon.